personal. It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT. I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so I wanted to nick this video because I'm probably the only guy on YouTube who consistently makes videos about Philip Hergovich because I feel like he's one of the best heavyweights in the world. And I think the, the boxing establishment and um, just a lot of things in boxing politically are against Hergovich. And, and, it, and it's a shame because I feel like we are being deprived of seeing one of the better heavyweights out there, you know, get his chance to show what he can do, right? But um, we got an update on Hergovich and I wanted to share it with you guys. Now, um, he's rumored to... Um, his next opponent and his most likely opponent will be coming in the form of heavyweight contender, the big Southpaw Australian, Dempsey McKean. Yes, that Dempsey McKean. For those that don't know, uh, Dempsey McKean, you know, Australian fighter, 22-0, 14 knockouts, uh, ranked contender. Um, this is a guy in Dempsey McKean that was, at one point in time, they, before the Jermaine Franklin fight happened for Anthony Joshua, he was actually the front runner uh, to fight Anthony Joshua, and then the fight didn't happen for whatever the case may be. But uh, they're looking at him fight Hergovich now. So now Hergovich, if he, this fight has to come off, this would be his second. Um, this would be his second high risk, low reward southpaw fighter he fought. Because let's have it right, when he fought Zhang Jalei, nobody was giving him credit for fighting Zhang Jalei. Uh, he was supposed to blow through Zhang. He didn't because Zhang is a lot better than people gave Zhang credit for going into the fight. And now Zhang is this cult-like fan favorite in boxing because of the Hergovich fight and because of what he did to Joe Joyce in, in their first fight, right? But uh, now he's going to fight another... I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying McKean is as good as Zhang, but what I am saying is that it's, it's kind of like the same... Different, they're cut from the same cloth as far as being a, a higher risk, low reward opponent that he's going to get no credit for beating, right? So um, this is the route he's got to take. In order for him to get the heavyweight title shot, he's going to have to maintain the IBF mandatory spot and, and, and have to fight Dempsey McKean. Now, style-wise, I think it's an interesting fight because McKean, uh, size-wise, um, got good size on him. He's six foot six, um, southpaw. Um, and it's, it's, it's another chance for, I guess, Hergovich to get some practice before he gets probably the Usyk fight. Because I think, I think if he is going to get a big fight, it won't be against Fury. Forget Fury. Fury, Fury wants to fight MMA fighters. He doesn't want to fight boxers no more. He's lost. He's behaving like a guy who's lost all hunger and ambition to be great in the game in the sport of boxing. So you got to take it for what it is. But um, if Hergovich ever does get a shot at the heavyweight title... It'll be against Usyk. So Usyk's a southpaw. He fought Zhang, who's a southpaw. He fought McKean, who's a southpaw. These are obviously guys that are bigger southpaws, but it's good for Hergovich to be fighting these kind of southpaw guys. Now, um, McKean, it, he can punch, but I don't. he's not the puncher that Zhang is. Uh, leans a bit more towards being that of a boxer. But um, I think it's a fight where, style-wise, it's a good fight for Hergovich because Hergovich's best punch is the straight right hand. And um, we all know that when you get an orthodox fighter and a southpaw fighter, the straight right hand is a southpaw killer. It's the, it's the one punch when you're an orthodox fighter fighting a southpaw that can neutralize the southpaw and put the orthodox fighter in an advantageous position, you know? So it's, it's, a, it's a good fight for him. Um, it'll be a second fight with Ronnie Shields. So I'm looking very forward to seeing how he does with Ronnie Shields this time around because, you know, Ronnie Shields, uh, the last fight, the fir their first camp together was very chaotic, you know? Ronnie Shields, um, that was the first camp together. They fought Jang, who was like the best version of himself that night. And it was a, only a, a couple of months after Hergovich's father had just passed. So you had to have, you had to at least think that, you know, he went into camp with a heavy heart and a lot of things on his mind. But even despite probably not having the best camp and having the worst night of his life in the boxing ring he still was good enough to beat Jang and he did beat Jang legitimately it wasn't a robbery i thought i thought i thought Hargovich won 5 of the last 6 rounds uh he dominated the second half of the fight and beat the brakes off Jang in the second half of the fight so um it wasn't a robbery and if Jang and if Jang really thought he lost then he would he would fight Hargovich but he won't because uh he'd he'd rather get a pat on the back from the boxing fans and say he got robbed rather than avenge the loss so that that's his cross to bear but, um, you know, I like this fight. Um, they, they, they were saying it's rumored to be on the Dillian White-Anthony Joshua 
2 undercard, which is August the 12th, a month from today at, at the time he's shooting this, because it's, it's July 12th that I'm shooting this. I don't think it'll probably be on that card. Now, I mean, now I've heard on Twitter and other places that it, it probably won't be on that card. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But either way, it's good to know that um, there's some motion with Philip Hergovic because if there's a guy in the division that really has every right to be pissed off, um, it's him. Michael Hunter didn't want to fight. Andy Reid didn't want to fight. You got you guys know the drill. You guys know the list of all the fighters that didn't want to fight him. And in fact, Dempsey McKean was one of the many fighters that turned him down and didn't want to fight him before he got the Jang fight. So that's worth noting as well. But uh, yeah, we'll definitely be tracking this whole story well, um, as things develop here on True School Sports. But uh, yeah, shout out to Philip Hargovich, shout out to Dem Dempsey McKean in the heavyweight division. Hopefully uh, the fight gets made so these two contenders can, can settle their dispute in the ring. We can get some more clarity as to who's who amongst the contenders in the heavyweight division while Tyson Fury goes and, and plays his little reindeer games with Francis Ngannou. So, uh, yeah, uh, leave a comment down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Dingus. So until next time, take your eyes. Thank you for watching another video on the Untouchable True Sports Empire. We're here at the Hantanaka Boxing Gym in Nagoya, Japan. And uh, more great videos just like this one, make sure you guys click right here.